COVID-19 policy advisor. This is coming weeks after Adewale Wale Adeyemo was announced as, as, as the Assistant Secretary of Treasury designates. According to a statement from the Bight Harris Transition Committee, Okulowu's parents came from Edo State, is one of the coordinators of for the for three crucial aspects of the COVID-19 response strategy: supply chain management, vaccinations, and testing. These diverse accomplished and crisis-tested individuals will work to quickly implement a comprehensive all of government's COVID-19 response strategy to contain the pandemic, restore public trust, and protect all Americans. Usareme Okolo serves as the Biden-Harris transition domestic policy team. Proud to joining the transition, Okolo served as senior health policy advisor to U.S. Representative Jan Shkankowski of Illinois. Okolo drafted negotiated and managed the Congress women's legislation, oversight and policy across a comprehensive health and public health agenda, most recently focusing almost exclusively on the COVID-19 pandemic. Previously, Okolo served as legislative aide for health policy on the U.S. Senate Committee on Health, Education, Labor and Pensions for ranking member party Mure of Washington, a daughter of Nigeria immigrants. Okolo was born and raised in Massachusetts and graduated from Harvard College. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, second Nigerian too. Um, okay, uh, Nigeria American. Um, it's a welcome development. It's a good thing. Uh, one thing I just believe that all of these people, they really worked very hard and it's not just like, you know, just picking every, anybody on the streets i'm sure a lot of people will be happy she'll be happy and i'm sure nigeria will not be saying oh yes it's one of our own well no matter what irrespective of any citizenship or change of a whatever the root is from nigeria and we'll talk about it and you know that a lot of people want to talk about oh maybe uh, oh this person or you know a lot of things that are that have been said about uh, joe biden but we are going to be hearing a whole lot from Nigerians because it concerns Nigerians and Nigerians will respond and react to this news. There is no doubt. Yes, it is because of her competence, not because she's a Nigerian. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That is the fact. Okay, does it matter? Hmm, yeah, Trump never saw any competent Igbo immigrant qualify for anything. Okay, absolutely, you are right because she's competent. Black people in diaspora, especially Yoruba. Uh, Yoruba have rich culture. I think if he had chosen Igbo person, you would have, you'd have yanished, uh, be yanched your big amount. Okay, go sit down. Okay, yeah, yeah, not to. Uh, okay, you see all of them, they will begin to talk now, 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 now. With all the names mentioned, both in Canada, Australia, UK, and America, other tribes are mentioned, but Hausa Fulani won't be there because they value mediocrity over whites, uh, over merits. They are naturally incompetent. Okay, why referring to them? Mm -hmm. That is their choice if they want to remain where they are. Believe me, all of these things are always causing problems among Nigerians. Is that what uh, is important now? Of course, people will say whatever they want to say because some people are fans of uh, Mr. He and some are fans of uh, Mr. B. When they outside, they are naturally incompetent uh, that a white man can't even approve to work with them who says there could be a lot of people maybe they are not just many just like uh, other tribes because mm -hmm, most of the time they don't uh, let, let me not say what i don't know uh maybe this person is talking based on his or her own experiences you wonder how he got to that position god bless you sister for representing a those states and nigerians well that's a good news i think our egos brothers should realize that donald trump the terror did not worth dying for. The notorious president that rejects said our amiable and competent Okonjo Wala as WTO president. Igbo people hmm, who want to die for uh, Trump and yet they didn't benefit anything from his administration. FFK to please hear this as he's still preparing to swear in this friend. 
to swearing his friend in her case he didn't want to do that or he's encouraging him a country where competence overrides quota system this is good news congrats okolo and congrats biden for spotting capable nigerians congratulations to you mr president president Ides biden it's a good one congratulations another good news we thank god but this kind of news will not go viral but oh if you hear that anything negative happens to a nigerian well, everybody will carry it. Everybody will begin to talk. But it's just, I think it's hypocrisy. I'm not even talking about Nigerians. I'm talking about other countries. One such such thing is happening. Oh, everybody, all Nigerians. Uh, 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 I just believe that those who are just, uh, maybe they are racist or they are ignorant, they are illiteracy. So it's not, it doesn't matter because maybe you are in a developed country. A lot of them do not know nothing. Uh, they are just, they base whatever they are assumption based on what they hear and they don't even do their research which even when they have a lot of a, you know a lot of avenues to get their information right or to get whatever they have been told to get it right or some people they just you know um naturally they don't just want to they just they know but they don't just want to give you them oh, who are these people and all of that but believe you me if it were to be something uh negative that really happens to this uh uh, in Nigeria, America, oh, they would have blown the every the whole world will be they will be transferring it here and there. They will be talking about it, and that is the most important thing we are saying is you know this kind of video does not go viral, but it's unfair that um people choose to believe what they want to believe. She has a wealth of experience. Congratulations, great news. All lies. She was not appointed because she's a Nigerian. Get that? Okay, <laughs> but everything goes. Don't you know, some people might even be qualified be just because maybe you don't like this person. Um, That's it. Okay, the question is that when uh, Donald Trump, according to what we are hearing, rejected uh, Ngozi Konjewala. So, do you want to tell us that Ngozi is not uh, competent? Do you want to tell us he does, she does not have what it is to be that? But I don't know the final um decision on that WTO thing. But does it mean she's not competent? She's over overqualified. In my own opinion. Well, very nice. Thank you, Jesus. Good news. Unfortunately, the round peg can never be allowed to serve in the round hole if ever considered for employment. Thank Mr. President. God bless you always. We are proud of you. Congratulations. Good news. More to come. Biden will do more better than Trump. Sign of great sad things ahead. Congratulations to you, Okolo. She's Igbo, Igbanke, not Edo. Oh, Koko. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, hmm. Well, this man doesn't even know whatness, really. He doesn't know whatness. So, guys, leave your comments below and let us have your take on this. Thank you.